September 2018, Uganda Mission. I departed for Entebbe, Uganda on September 15th via Pittsburgh, Newark, Brussels, and Addis Ababa due to a four-hour delay in Newark because of maintenance problems to two different jets. We arrived in Brussels too late for me to connect on Brussels Airlines to Entebbe. So United made different arrangements from Brussels through Ethiopian Airlines to get me to Uganda, but I had to wait eight hours in Brussels to connect. So I did not arrive in Uganda until Monday morning, September 17, which was 12 hours later than my original schedule. Kenneth Wafola met me outside Customs in Entebbe. We then drove about three more hours to Jinja. There was a group of church folks expecting me for the first day of the teaching seminar, so we met briefly with them to explain my delay and to introduce ourselves. The seminar was then rescheduled for Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Finally, we went to my hotel, the Nile River Bend Resort that is right on the Nile River. Jinja is a famous tourist area claiming the origin of the source of the Nile River. I also delivered $2,000 to Kenneth Wafula for his 40 September Biosand Filter sponsored by King's Ransom Foundation and Oikos Ministries. On September 18, we began the seminar about multiplying disciples in house churches. I taught four to five hours total in three sessions on true repentance, gathering the disciples into a simple house church, and laying the foundation of basic doctrine. After my last session, they all stood, about 100 people, in repentance to reject the traditional teachings of men and to obey the scriptures to multiply disciples in churches. They stayed at the meeting place all afternoon, sharing testimonies and answering each other's questions until about 6 p.m., even after I had returned to my hotel. I also gave Kenneth $1,000 for new pig projects sponsored by Oikos Ministries. He testifies that the pig projects are bearing much good fruit, empowering the families to better support themselves to get out of poverty. On September 19, we had the second day of the training. I taught again three sessions all morning and early afternoon for over four hours total on appointing elders, devotion to discipleship, and how church body ministry should function. The entire group of about 100 people repented for not functioning like the church of the first century. September 20th was the final day of the seminar. I taught two sessions to finish my material. The first was on sending workers with tithes and offerings. Everyone came forward to repent of robbing God. This lack of giving is a terrible problem everywhere I teach. The second session was on free will offerings for ministry to desperately poor believers. Nearly everyone came forward to volunteer to start giving offerings to the poor. The messages were well received by all. They are now equipped to go out and multiply disciples, churches, and workers. I returned to Entebbe Thursday afternoon to wait at a guest house for my 4 a.m. Friday morning flight to Cairo, then Frankfurt, Washington, and Pittsburgh. I was back home after midnight on Saturday. Thanks for your prayers and offerings that helped send me to the nations. May the Lord bless and keep you. Chuck King, Frontier Harvest Ministries of Ford City, PA.